Hi, this is a GMR question from gmrquestions.org. For the function f of x equal to x plus 2 to the power of 5 over 6, what are the values of x for which f of x is a real number? We have here a function that is uh, somewhat complicated by the fact that we have a fraction that is a power here. The power is a fraction. Okay. Before we uh, tackle this uh, particular function, I need to remind you of something important. If you have x to the power p over q, if you have a fraction here as a power, this is equivalent to x to the power p, and we have q here. The q root of x to the power p. So, to give you an example, if you have x to the power 2 thirds, this is the same as cube root of actually, hold on, of x square. That's it. If you have x to the power 3 half, it would be equivalent to the square root of x to the power 3. It's a square root. We don't write the, when it's a square root, the 2 here, we don't really write it. Okay? And most of you probably are familiar with x to the power 1 half is the same as root of x. Okay? It's x to the power 1 root of x. Okay? So this is important. Uh, another thing that we need to establish here is the fact that when you have a uh, x to the power pq and uh, what are you going to do actually let me just rewrite it uh, if you have uh, um, q x to the power p if uh, q is uh, even then x to the power p must be non-negative it has to be positive or zero if q is even the radical what is inside the radical has to be non-negative has to be zero or positive this is a rule a mathematical rule that is very important Okay, if q, if q is odd, you know, this is okay. xp can be any real number. Okay, any real number if q is odd. We can have negative numbers inside or whatever. But if q is even, x to the power p has to be non-negative. Okay? This is very important. For example, the square root of 4, you cannot have... Uh, the square root obviously has a, a root that is even, you know, the 2. The square root of 4 does exist, but the square root of negative 4 does not exist. If you want, I can write this down here on the right side, square root 4. Yes. Square root of negative 4. No. You cannot have a negative 4. Because here two is a is a root. We don't write it two is a root. But you already know this. And this comes from this rule, if you want. Okay? If q is even, we want to make sure that what is inside has to be zero or positive. I hope I have made myself clear here. Now let's do the question f of x is equal to two x plus two. Okay, this is going to give us f of x is equal to uh, the sixth root of 2x plus 2. Okay, to the power 5. Okay, same thing. So, since the 6 is even... Two x plus two 
to the power of 5 has to be greater than 0. Again, right here. Absolutely. So let's write it down again. 2x plus 2 to the power of 5 with equal to 0. And here we are really finding mathematically what's called the domain of definition. The domain of definition of the function. Okay? And we want to make sure that what is in the radical, inside the radical, is non-negative. And if you solve this, we should find the correct answer. Now, solving this, you should know that this is the same as... Okay, the best way to explain this to you is just to do this. 2x plus 2 to the power 4 times 2x plus 2 to the power 1, which will equal to 0. Now, this we can drop because... If you follow some of the videos, you know, on uh, inequalities, whatever, you should be able to see that we can drop 2x plus 2 to the power 4. Why? Because it's a positive. It's going to be positive always to the power 4. It cannot even be 0. You know, I mean, it could be 0, actually, when you have... Uh, but just know that uh, for for this particular equation, you know, we can drop 2x plus 2 to the power 4. It's already positive. We only have to deal with 2x plus 2. Okay? Because this is, it cannot be negative. So, it really doesn't play a role about the sign. It's already positive. Okay? Another way to look at this, sorry, to, is just to say that this is positive already. So this also has to be positive, okay? Because this is already positive. In order for the product to be positive, 2x plus 2 has to be positive, okay? A, B, A is positive, B also has to be positive, okay? So this is going to lead to 2x plus 2, 0. So 2x greater than equal to negative 2. So, x greater than or equal to negative 1. And that is the answer. So, the correct answer, as you can see here, is a C. C is the correct answer. Okay? So, that's it. Thank you for watching. This is a GMAT question from gmarquestions.org.